Hello, everybody. Today, I want to share with you a lovely story happening to that. This is really the best season to visit Lhasa. It's, it's hard to take a photo with a top. So my friend Daniel and I started a three-week trip in Tibet last month, and it started in Lhasa and stretched across the whole region. But we didn't expect we could meet such a lovely person on the very first day of our trip. We went to the Patala Palace Square, and we met such a lovely Tibetan girl. Ah, hello! <laughs> Noticing that we were tourists, she came to talk to us. Oh, what do you say? Oh, 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 you say? A little. Oh, I heard that you can speak some English. What's your name? My name is Rose. 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 <laughs> I guess she liked us. Our friend came to talk to us and stayed with us for quite a while. She's a Tibetan girl from Qinghai province and she came to Lhasa to sell some souvenirs during the summer break. Oh. And then she shared with us a very personal story. She wants to be a doctor in the future. Yeah. Because I have two brothers. But when they were in the Alps, they were in the Alps. My mother sent them to the Alps. They were not able to die. I want to be a doctor. We were very touched by her dream and her dedication to improving the life of others. Uh, bye bye. She cried too. There were 12 kids or 10 kids, but two of brothers. Two brothers died. Why she was calling me because she gave me these two presents for you and me. Oh wow! She told you a secret that she had a gift for both of us, didn't she? Yeah. And she refused to take money for it. Yeah. She basically she just. Uh, put this in, in my hand. Don't let anyone else see this because there are other girls doing the business. Oh. So she doesn't want other girls to see that. She just gave us this for free. I insist on like, let me pay you. How much, how much does it cost? And she said, no, no, don't give me money. We were very touched by this sweet girl. Not only because she was kind, she dreamed of improving the lives of others. I think people like her are the hope for the future of this country.